Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna make a bird. Let's get started. So this is the template we're gonna use to make this fun bird. Um, I'm also gonna have one in black and white, so if you just wanna do it on book paper or paint your own in, you can do that too. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut this little guy out. And there is a lot of detail cutting in this. So I'll cut the big elements out first. You can see they're touching really close. They actually separate. Separate these guys out. So I'm cutting on the outside edges and there'll be a few spots I'll show you that you'll need to cut into. And some of these little dotted lines are going to be fold lines. So I'm cutting all the way up to there. Okay, so we've got the outline cut here. Now what I'm gonna show you is there are a few other areas that I'm going to be cutting out of here. So right here, you're going to make this little slit on the top of this part of the beak, right here. You're gonna cut in between. So right here, you wanna cut all the way up to where the black stops. And this little line right here is a fold line. Right here, I've cut all the way through to that line. You'll see a tiny line there. And then I'm also cutting, so you have a little tab above this part of the beak. And this part will be folded. So you're cutting above the beak and you're cutting on this edge right here. So this is a fold line right here. This is a fold line right here. This will be a fold line. This will be a fold line. And this is a fold line. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to cut, after you've cut around, from here to here, and here to here. Okay, so I'm gonna put that piece aside and we're gonna start cutting out this piece. So once again, I'm gonna cut around the whole outside. So right here, you definitely wanna make sure you cut around the outside edge of this and this little dotted line is going to be your fold line. On this piece, where this head is gonna attach, I am just going to make a little slit right here, and you'll see a little line there, and then a tiny slit here. Okay, we'll put him aside, and we're gonna cut this last one out. I need to cut this right there, and then this little tab right here I'm cutting, so you have two folds, this and that one right there. And then we also have one more tab in here I'm going to cut straight down there. And also there is one right here. So you're getting two tabs at the top here where I had done those extra little slices there and there. So this is how we are going to get started. So we're starting with this head and I'm gonna fold all these little tabs. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gluing this right here on top of this tab. So we're gonna glue that there. I'm using a heavy duty glue stick, but you could use a piece of a dot of double stick tape. So I'm just gonna hold that there for a second. And we're doing, it's almost like the little perch over his nose. Now this piece seems a little odd because you're seeing the beak down here facing this way. And the reason that is, is you're literally gonna turn it up. So this beak is rolled under the top beak. After these two pieces have set, the first two, there's that little tab there right here, and that is where the other part of your top beak 
is going to be attached. And we'll hold that for a moment. Then we turn this upside down. We're kind of rolling it in. You can see where I have this blue and yellow. I'm gonna kind of lightly just, I'm not gonna fold it, but just lightly bend it. This flap right here is going to get glued right over this to this dotted line. And let that set. Well, we had made these two slits here and here. We have these two edges. I'm bringing them underneath that. So these two sides are going underneath the top of the head that we had slit here and here. And you'll see a little dotted line on this side right Put here. Put some glue on that tab and glue that right to there. Now you'll see this tab. So you can see how far I glued it over. This edge line is going right here to this tab line. So they'll go straight across and there's a tab line right there. I'm going to add his back. So this is the top back that goes on him. And before I glue this down, I'm gonna show you. And then this is his belly that is going to go here. So the top back is going to the back of his head and you'll see where this tab is sticking out and where these two tabs are sticking out. So what will happen is I'll put adhesive on all three of those tabs and then I will press all three of these down to hold this in place. So I'm going to hold all three of these tabs down right there just for a moment to make sure they're nice and secure. Now the front of the bird, this is his belly. Here's one tab, here's a tab, there's a tab, and there's a tab. So when we put this on him, you're going to put the first one right there in between these two. And then this is going to go in the back. If you need to trim a little, this is a good time to do that to make them fit in nice and secure. Put glue on these. So this one is going right in here. Hold these two for a moment. Then bring this one around. So what we're going to do next is I am going to adhere this wing to this tab here and this top edge of the wing to that tab there. So what I'm going to do then is on the belly side, I am just going to, these little tabs here, I am just going to bring this part of his breast down and attach that. This tab at the top, and it looks like two big wings coming out, but they're not. This is the side of his body. It's getting tucked under the wing, and it is getting secured down here, right where the legs are. So this edge is going right here, and you can see it's gonna go right to where the leg starts, up. So we'll put some glue on that. So this is gonna be attached to under his belly. So underneath this wing, and line it up with like where the leg starts. There you go, and I'm attaching it right there. So you can see what this looks like. You can see an opening right here. It's going right here. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this other flap. We're gonna take it and adhere that right here. So you wanna make sure you make this cut. You will see this line in between his belly and there's a straight line up. If we didn't make that cut, you need to make that cut and we are going to glue that over there, over this little tabbed area. And then we are going to put glue on these two tabbed areas. You can see where these tabs are in these top of the wing right here, you're going to adhere. So 
So after you adhere them there, this will still be loose, but this will just be adhered at the top. To hold it in place, The easiest way to do this is put your fingers down inside where the legs are, where the opening is, to hold that. So since I want him to stand up, I reinforced his legs, and I'm just cutting two thin strips of chipboard to go on here to help him stand. So I'm gonna cut two just tiny little strips of chipboard. some nice heavy duty glue stick on this. And what I'm gonna do is on the inside, I'm gonna glue this higher up into the body and go down and I'll trim this off. So the chipboard is, goes up to about right here and then I'm gonna trim the excess off and this is going to help support the legs on here and keep them straight. I'm going to bend just where the claws go. So if you would like to, you could antique or do whatever else you would like or seal him or just add whatever you would like to him. So I hope you guys thought this was kind of fun. If you want to do a simple bird out of book paper, we do have the black and white template that's below the video in the description. We have a template for the black and white that you could print out onto book paper or anything you would like. And then we also have the watercolor one that I had done that you could also print out also if you'd like to make one out of the blue watercolor. Also, we have other videos that we have done that show how we've used this coach stencil in different ways and also how we've used our metal trim to add accents to boards. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but whatever you do, have fun.